Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of The Good Place, Season 3, Episode 6. I'm super excited to continue on with this. Uh, the link will be down below for the Patreon if you want to uh, help support the channel and get the full unedited reaction. Um, and all my other links. So yeah, let's just get this now and have some fun. Well, after my chilly episode, I asked the administration for a one-year sabbatical, and good news, they fired me. So, <laughs> I am free and easy. Well... That's that's not a sabbatical, though, dude. So, yeah. I have to break things off with Simone. If I slip up and tell her about the universe, it could doom her for eternity. And I've avoided talking to her for so long, she assumed I had laryngitis and it went too far, and now I'm on antibiotics. Okay, settle down. <laughs> Your moral code means you can't lie, right? You need to just ghost her. Disappear. Block her number. Bonus, anything she left in your apartment now legally belongs to you. Yeah, I mean that's gonna hurt though. Do you know what I mean? That that's gonna that's gonna hurt a lot. I mean, it's not nice when someone does that. I usually appear out of thin air, and there would be a pleasant <laughs> bing sound, but I don't have my powers, so I'm doing my own bings now. <laughs> bing. Oh, that is funny. Yeah, I mean, now you are on Earth. It's, it's the, no magic. I do know everything about you and Simone and computer programming and virtual reality and artificial intelligence and the human brain and everything else. I'm kind of a nerd. I'll start building the simulator now. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Janet, she's amazing. I can't wait to show you guys all the cool sights in Jacksonville. Like, that swamp is where me, Pillboy, and Donkey Doug used to stand and try and blind pilots with laser pointers, and oh. Maybe, maybe we should do the tour after we, you know, save your father's soul. Oh, I've been meaning to ask, why are you trying to save your father? I've heard you mention your friend Pillboy many times, but you've not mentioned your father once. What do you mean? I talk about Donkey Dog all the time. Donkey Dog is his dad. The Donkey Dog with whom you tried to blind airline pilots with laser pointers. Yeah. The Donkey Dog was banned from Disney World for biting Buzz Lightyear. In his defense, <laughs> he thought it was someone else. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's not getting in the good place. A few years ago, Donkey Doug was very close to getting his electrician's license. So if we get him to finish the training, he can earn an honest living and be on his way to getting more good place points, which is why we're all here. OK, let's go save my dad. Taxi! I mean, I'm pure, pretty sure I've heard this off another TV show, and I'm just kidding. But I mean, Florida is apparently America's taint. <laughs> So it doesn't look like Michael wants to be there. I mean, I am your boy. Yeah, but it's more like, that's my son right there, son. But not like, son, son, but like, my boy, but not like... Yes, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, we get it. You're a terrible parent. <laughs> How about you and me go check out my jacuzzi and put stuff in each other? Again, I'm his wife. Jason, I mean, looking handsome as ever, but still, mate, you, you need to tell your dad. He about to get a slap. Would this work with, say, me and, say, uh, Jason Statham? And uh, instead of a cafe, it was, say, a room with a futon and a bunch of Red Bull? Why is it that every time a new thing is invented, humans immediately try to use it for porn? Because we're disgusting. Huh. El yes, like they all. PlayStation VR, and then all of a sudden there's, well, I mean, it was VR before PlayStation. All of a sudden it's all VR porn. It's filthy humans, the lot of is. Unfortunately, I have come to learn some information, and it means that we have to end this relationship. What information? I can't say. Why not? Uh, I, I can't say. Well, stomach ache, stomach ache. Yeah, so, that didn't go great. I disagree. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> so, don't do that. Not what he was going for. Jason, I thought you were dead, but I was alive. I was in Australia. I talked to you on the phone last week. Yeah, but I forgot. Oh, me and Pill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason, man. I mean, look. I'm not going to to tell anybody how to live their life, especially a fictional character, but you can do better than that, man. Maybe just tell her that you're gay. I'm not gay. Fine. Bye. I'm not bi either. Why not? 
more guys should be by. It's 2018. It's like, get over yourselves. Is there any way I can try a bunch of different things in a row to see what works? Bing. Sure. I mean, I just want to say, make something very clear. I am 100% straight. And, I mean, I, I don't, well, I do find men attractive. But I just couldn't be intimate with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jason's so handsome. Chidi is rocking some amazing fucking body underneath that sweater vest. But I just, that's not something I could do. So I'm right there with him. And when, when Eleanor was like, well, just be by. Like, that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this is the one. Remember everything. Right leg crossed over left. Coffee's right there. Oh, one more thing. Suck it, you doink. Sorry. <laughs> this is Eleanor, you idiot. Janet let me mess with the simulator to screw with you. I mean, that was that was pretty obvious when you said suck it, you doink, like. What is happening? <laughs> nope, no, this is over. Whoa, man, come on, it was just getting good. Well, there you go. So, problem solved for you, Chidi. Now, Eleanor can date her. You were good at electricity stuff. You hooked us up with free porno channels every year ever since the third grade. It's good, honest work. Honest work? Whatever, Dad. You're his dad. This is huge, Jay. <laughs> when Double Trouble pops off, I'll be able to quit my job at the old folks' home. Jesus Christ. I mean, I know there is parents out there who don't want their kids to call them mother and stuff when they're out. It's ridiculous. Crazy. Okay, real life. I think I'm ready. I've analyzed the 10 most successful scenarios and compiled the statistically most effective breakup strategy. Who said you weren't a romantic? Every girlfriend I've ever had. Oh, there she is. Okay, wish me luck. Yeah, I kind of see him being romantic. I mean, all the procrastination and, and, and is enough to send anyone packing. Sorry, real quick. I'm gonna go on break, so Helmut will be taking care of you. Hello. Uh, will you be eating with us today? Just please give us one second. Yeah, okay. One. <laughs> that was one second. <laughs> that was a joke. Please get out of here, Helmut. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm playing it for comedy, but it is like that when you go for a meal. You sit down, you order your drinks, and then you get your food, and then the second you fucking put the food to your mouth, they're just a wait arrow appears out of nowhere, like, are you enjoying that, say? Mouthful of burger and shit, like, <laughs> I mean, why did they do that? Just talk to her. Breakups never end with both people feeling great. But she's a badass, and her world is bigger than your relationship. She'll recover. Just go. Be a person. Right. I mean, it, he is doing it to save her from pain, and he knows eventually he will tell her and ruin it. But also at the same time, it's horrible that he's doing it. I'm trying to save him. Oh, dip. You got religious inches? Amen. Amen. Okay, hurry up and get this crap in my truck. Jacksonville police, come out with your hands up. Are you a cop? Because if you are, you have to tell us. <laughs> yes, this is the police. Yep, I knew it. It's the cops. Yeah, I mean, they said, Jacksonville police, come out with your hands up. That was the first thing they said. Okay, that was the giveaway, donkey dog. Take good care of these old fools and stay out of trouble. I love you, bro. <laughs> I love you, bro. That was a genuinely touching moment. Ruined. So, the thing is, one of your parents is not technically, actually, dead. Yeah. I didn't think my mother was dead. I just thought her dad was. Or maybe I'm missing something. Yeah. I mean, makes perfect sense to me, the crazy lady. Uh, great episode. I love Chidi. And how crazy he is but yeah um sucks that he had to end his relationship but i totally understand why it's horrible as it is and donkey dog my god worst father ever um, <laughs> but it was a good episode and i like the fact that Pillboy now thinks he's working for nasa 
as a secret agent and his mission is to help all those old people and not commit crimes fantastic um yeah thank you so much for uh coming out to watch this i do appreciate it um i love this show it makes us feel good about myself uh and i can't explain why not that i'm a bad person but you know what i mean i just really enjoy it uh thank you as ever for your support and i'll see you all again very soon for more the good place reaction videos